What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I just fast traveled here. Who is this? What is up, my friend? Ah. It's Pin. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower, a real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? You don't know me? I'm Link. Mm. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really, your name is Link? Yes, indeed. And before we continue this conversation, I just have to thank you so much for your support. You have now left over 10,000 likes in the first episode. It surpassed a quarter million views. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This has been a very successful series so far, uh, which is kind of rare in the wor world of Let's Plays these days. But thank you for being here. Thanks for returning to the series. Let's continue the conversation. Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, <laughs> good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebras to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, soar long. <laughs> okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> soar long. <laughs> um, right. So, I was just looking at the telescope up there. I don't even know what that is exactly. I might be able to get up there though. But the main thing is, uh, I am trying to figure out, I mean, this game has presented me a lot of options, right? It seems to have, at least. And uh, I do want to do some more shrines, but I think first I want to go down here. They told me, you know, to do this camera thing. If you take a look at the map, which is what we were, um, which is what I did to fast travel here, there is camera work in the depths. And there's, you know, there's a shrine near there. There's a shrine up here that I still need to do. And um, if we have time after we do this camera work, I will do those shrines, I think. Uh, it just depends on how this goes because, you know, one thing, I do need to do more shrines to get more hearts, more stamina, things like that. Uh, because if I don't, then the things I encounter in this game are going to be fairly difficult eventually. At some point. Decay, what, what do you, you want to say? Decay weapons. Mm -hmm. Eee, I don't believe it. The legendary Mr. Link is talking to me. You wanted a closer look at that weapon? I take yeah. it. Look at this. I made it for fighting off monsters. Pretty nifty, huh? Our iron weapons decayed, and there's a lack of equipment around here, so I stuck a rock to the end of a long stick. <laughs> Looks odd, but it'll work. All right. So, there's no real, like, easy, fast travel. I don't think. Let me take a look for a second. I, I'm in the map. Surface. I can go to the sky. Can I fast travel to the sky? I can, so I can actually go back. That's really interesting. I don't know. I don't know of anything I have to do here. There's a device dispenser. Okay, that makes sense. Um, there is also the uh, what's it called? There's the forge construct, the crystal refinery. So eventually I'll go back there. But really, uh, I'm just gonna end up running probably because uh, they took my car. My car wasn't fast anyway. <laughs> it wasn't like the the way to go now weaponry if we take a look at my weapons i have a couple of things i, I mean the soldier spear i could stick a rock to it maybe uh let's do it with the weaker one traveler spear let's just do that really really quick i will fuse and boom there we go it's a little bit stronger i suppose i'll use that for oh some water to drink i'm so thirsty uh this is how you run by the way and um, where are we headed? We I ran out of stamina. So I see it way over here. I don't know if this is... I mean, I know you guys wanted me to run more often. But I don't know if this is the ideal form of travel. Hopefully, eventually, I come across... Ugh, scare me. I don't know why that scared me. You're not scary. There you go. Thank you. I'll take your choo-choo jelly. This is a uh, area to build stuff with, which is fine. I like how sometimes they kind of leave you with like something like kind of like a clue, like oh this this part you might be able to use. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go, and there is a shrine over here, but we're gonna skip this shrine for now. I want to get to the main mission because I want to unlock this camera ability, and it's just right over here. So let's hit it, and let's see. There's another camp over there. There's some horses. I should probably tame a horse or something, right? Uh, there's lots of this. What, is, what am I looking at? Discovery. What did I discover? Hyrule Field Chasm. There you go. I discovered some more of these guys, too. And some Dazzle Fruits. These birds are just casting their shadows. Get out of here, birds. Um, can I touch this without getting hurt? 
Nope. Oh my god. No, traveler, don't do it if you touch that well. Well, what? Well, what? He's warning me. It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Okay, I won't do it then. I won't do it, but thank you for the warning. It wants me to go in there. Let me go talk to these guys over here then. See what they, uh, oh, leap over that. I just don't want to touch the dark red. What's up with you? Can I push you in? I wonder if Robbie is okay. Whoa. Hey, what's the big de idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai uh, survey team is down there. Well, what happened if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Oh. Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. All right. I won't. Well, do you have anything else to talk about? Mm. I told you. Don't go walking up behind someone standing on the edge of a chasm. Like, okay, so, yeah. Oh. Don't start me again. I won't. I won't. But I will, go, I will go talk to this guy over here. He warned me. You have a lot of stuff to deal with. Ugh, I feel awful. Oh. A traveler, are you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your life away. Mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it uh, on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Ugh, some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Duvall, so I really want to recover by noon. All right. I hope you can recover by noon. How do... I mean, do I just jump? Do I just leap in there and glide down? And uh, this is where I'm meeting Robbie, right? What do you guys think? Do you think you just like leap of leap of faith here? Where's my glider? Where's my glider? Which one's my glider? Glide. <laughs> I was freaking out, dude. Oh, you know what? But I need to turn my glide on a little later. Glide now. Turn it off. Glide now. There you go. All right, the depths. We've made it, guys. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough blight <laughs> bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out, so I lost sight of him. Well, I have some. Ah. Ah, I thought he was taking a short walk out to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I, I do. I said, oh, I, I meant to say I do. Oh, that's not good at all. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. It's incredibly dangerous to explore here without a light source. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from the caves, and they'll light up if struck. So they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. All right. That's cool to know. Oh. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. All right, so I know how to do that. Uh, Although this time Robbie grabbed me in such a rush that I didn't gav gather enough in advance. I actually did, so. Uh, um, let's, let's, I, I, I want to see what happens if I tell him oh. the truth this time. <laughs> so, kept going and going and going. We got it, we got it. And going. Uh, I do. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. All right, so he's basically just telling me the same thing. So it didn't really affect oh. the outcome here. I thought maybe he'd be like, okay, let's go then. Oh. But no, he didn't say anything like that. He just was like, okay, fair enough. Uh, so this is a cool-looking balloon. Is this uh, – can I alter again this? I cannot. So, uh, let me get, yeah, let me get my bow, and I will attach, I will attach, not bombs, I will attach, where is it, where is it, over here, come on, come on, go, jeez, bright boom seeds, all right, oh, wow. Muddlebud, a wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. That'll be fun. How about one just right here? 
Model buds. How about one up here? I I always have a habit, an inclination of going the complete opposite way of what it what it tells me to do. This broke the bow. That's cool. <laughs> a puff shroom is from Plants vs. Zombies. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Well, I don't want to eat them then. Uh, so that bow is damaged. And so that means we got to select another one. Might as well just go with the old wooden bow. And it seems like we're about to hit a dead end. Like, a, like yeah, may, I mean, maybe I can get past it. But is it worth it to do it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it just keeps going, which is good, but this little jump. I mean, okay, here's the thing. I do want to explore. I really do. But I also I don't want to, like, get stuck in it. You know what I mean? I don't want to, like, lose a bunch of health. I want to do the main mission. I don't think these lights are going to be here when I come back, so I'll probably have to relight the area. I, I, I wonder if I could just chop down trees. I could probably make bridges or whatever. But anyway, let's let's do the main mission. Like I said, I do want to explore, but I also want to do the main mission. So let's go this way. He was right about it being pitch black in a lot of places. Um, so I could also... I don't have to just... I can just... I can just... Oh, no, I already applied it. Okay, never mind. So let's say I could just hold it. I wasn't quite sure how to do that. Get out of here, bugs. No. I kind of want them. I don't know what they are. Can I just walk over to them and grab them? Like, just get, come to me. A deep firefly. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. So, like a self-lighting system, huh? That's kind of interesting. An elixir that lights you up makes sense. They've added so much to this game that has just been surprising me. And I like being surprised when it comes to this. I mean, like, how awesome is it, the stuff that we have now? Uh, so he's going over here. Obviously, the light is here. Light root. What do I do with the light root? Examine it. That's what you do with light roots. You examine it. Light root has been examined. What happens now? All right. I mean, I'm encompassed by light. It's too bright. I didn't bring my shades. Whoa, what, what, what just happened? Oh, it's a fast travel point. Perfect. That's good to know. So yeah, so there are layers. There's depths. There's the you know the light route dispelled the darkness and brighten the surrounding area, and also added a fast travel point. That's the coolest part of it. Does it also heal you? Like if you were if I were to get gloomed out or whatever. I don't know. But the dude went this way. Um, did he le exam? What is this? Hey you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from a from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root. I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. All right. I will I will aid you in your endeavor here. I clearly need to go a different way. Just playing spooky music again. Wow, wow. And I mean the depths, I mean this just seems huge. But I'm going this way. This is pretty cool, right? Puff shroom. What's over here? Muddle bud, puff shroom. Uh, am I going the right way now? I think I am, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's just... No. Stop. Stop whistling. 
I don't necessarily want to waste an arrow each time. I I would love it if it saved like the positions of everything. So that I didn't have to relight things when I came back, but it's probably just oh another bomb. Great. Bomb flowers are great. These things are super useful, I think. Oh god. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Uh how about there? Light it up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Get away. <laughs> Okay, well, they, they did. For a second. Alright, there's one down. Whoa! Zonite. Excellent. I think they, they stumbled upon one of the flowers. I think the bomb flowers. Great. I like that it has... Uh, zona, zonite. So I'm going to need to upgrade my... Whatever it's called. Stamina or whatever. How about this one right there? I like lighting up both the ground and the sky a little bit. More bombs. Excellent. These bomb flowers are going to be way useful. Oh, dude, what? What happens if I just blast them with light? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, is this a doable thing? Like, do I want to, like... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. I've wronged you, I know, but you got to cut me some slack. Uh, okay, you know what? This is this is what you want. This is what you're here for, huh? You're here for some bomb arrows. Thought so. I thought so. Whoa, maybe, maybe, nope, nope, put that up, put that up. Maybe don't get too close with it, you know? All right, one more. Awesome. All right. Oh, wow, what's this? Amber, okay, cool. So I got, I got off course a little bit. Oh, shoot. Big guys up here, big guys. Let me get some more of these. I see him up there. I do. Um, let me uh, let me light the path a little bit more because this already looks scary. Oh wait, hold on. I see. I see something. Hold on. Oh crap! 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 No! 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 Hit that! Oh, what? Okay, you know what? Sorry, I'm just gonna go straight to bombs. Oh boy, yeah, I know. You're not happy about this, are you? Back to bombs. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Whoa, what happened to you? I don't know if I can fight these guys without having bombs. Large Zona Eye, great. Oh no. Don't throw him. One more. One more for old time's sake. Oh, no. It broke. Oh, it missed, too. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm wasting all my bombs. I know. I know. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, a different bow. Well, this is... Oh, help. Oh, my God. I need to get the large... Oh, no, I already have it. No, no, don't duck. Don't duck. Do regular... Oh, it still works. Okay, great. I don't have to blow him up with bombs. I thought maybe those other guys... Moblin horn. Okay, great. Traveler's sword. I can't carry any more melees. Uh, what about ditching uh, this traveler's? Oh, the, wait. It's probably the same traveler's sword, right? Let me drop this one. I'm pretty sure the other one's the same. Yeah, traveler's sword's a traveler's sword. Okay, my bad. All right, let's see what I can do over here. A cobblin horn. At least these items like stay on the ground for a little bit. They don't. A cobblin fang, okay. Traditional material. More arrows, good. Oh wow. Uh, does this work? No. <laughs> what am I thinking? Traveler's claymore. How do I? Are there any rocks around here? This is an interesting adventure that we're having, isn't it? Bomb flower. 
No, 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 no. I, I don't see any, like, rocks down here. I was hoping to get, like, a boulder so I could, like, smash into it, you know? But I'm not seeing any rocks down here at the moment. And that's annoying, because I really need this stuff probably take. Take an arrow. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, maybe I could just drop a bomb without the arrow. No. And how do I do that? Drop. I can't take that out here. Why not? How do I plant the bomb? Like, what's the, uh... Hold. Yeah. Maybe I just have to have it like that. So let me, uh... Let's do it. There you go. <laughs> they went flying, my dude. Uh, that wasn't really the most, the most productive way of getting that, because they went everywhere, it seems. But I do need, I only have 34. I need like 100 to upgrade my stuff, so. They just went everywhere, my dude. And there's one more here. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe I'll just save it. I don't have... Are there any, uh, let's see, are there any rocks out here for me to, like, merge? What happens if I take, uh, sorry, what, if I, what happens if I take, like, something like this? The Traveler's Claymore, and I, uh, decide to infuse it, I fuse it with this weapon here. There you go. Does this work? I mean, is this powerful enough to break this? I don't even know. Okay, yeah, three hits, but not the best. Oh boy, these these things here. Um, I'll probably grab some more of these bugs. The deep firefly. I like the way they look. I mean, they're like their bodies all weird, which I know sounds like a compliment, <laughs> but. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, there's a lot of these. Here, I want to go ahead and. No, no, don't use that. Let's go back to using. Not the big ones, even. I'm still using the, the regular seeds here. There's a whole horde of. I'm just. Here we go. I'm just, I'm just lighting this up. Just making sure, I know there's a flying thing there. I don't know exactly where he is or how to see him or what to even use against him. There's a lot of things going on that, frankly, quite scary. I see him over there, dude. I think I can fight those without bombs. Oh, crap. What about these guys? What about these guys? <laughs> That's not very strong. Crap. Okay, I need to, I can't, can I roll out of here? Oh dear. Don't duck. Oh my God, the biggest mistake ever is, oh, he's, this thing's on fire now. Gotcha. Oh shoot. Get it, get it, it's on the ground. It's dead. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, 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 I want that. Goodbye. I mean, I don't really care. Arrow wing, a large, wide arrow wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item, attached even in a slight wind. An eyeball. Cook it with a critter to make it an elixir, or attached arrow to grant a homing quality. The homing quality sounds really fun. You know, I haven't used it yet, but I mean, it sounds fun. Uh, let me attach. There you go. Yeah, I see you over there. I'm just lighting this place up. I'm a little worried that like once I leave this area and whenever I come back or whatever, it's not gonna be the same. Rock hammer. Oh, I can't get any more melee weapons. Oh shoot, my arrow's on fire. It's okay. Not a bad thing, I guess. Oh man. Whoa, this guy's wiggling. Oh, it's his arms. 
Can I take his arms? Bokoblin arm. Oh, it's a melee weapon, but it's a 20. Dude, are you kidding me? A 20? Let's drop some of this other stuff then. What the heck? Let's drop the traveler sword. I mean, how is it like super fragile? Did I not drop it? Drop. Can I just stack them? <laughs> 20 is so big. All right, let's drop another traveler's sword. I don't think I'm gonna be needing those. This is, these have gotta be like a one use thing, right? All right, uh, let's just go with the regular bow and arrow for this guy. Oh, jeez. And also let's drop, uh, let's drop one of these stone axes also. Did I do it? Drop. And I give me that stone hammer because there's some more stuff to break. There's a stone hammer over here. Rock hammer, rather. There's more stuff to smash. This place is amazing. Are these shrooms on there too? No. I see like little shrooms on the ground. I'm like, okay. No, 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 no. I, I hope... I got. So I don't know what the large can be done. Like, what I can do with the large. But I know I need a hundred of, like, the regulars. In order to increase my energy. Which is something I am looking forward to doing. Oh, no, wait. It's not this. Wait, I'm so confused. No, it's a hundred of the crystallized things. But I need to exchange them. And, oh, man. I'm totally forgetting. I think I used these to exchange them. I'm so confused, but we can, we'll figure it out. We'll square it away later. I might, I might be just ta making stuff up now. Where are we going? Over there. Perfect. There's also more bad guys over here. Goodness. Uh, let's just light that up right there. Light it up down here. Uh, light it. Oh yeah. Well. This is truly incredible, this whole area. Bomb flowers. I'm gonna put one right there. I need, I'm, I'm gonna start needing more bows. I'm uh, getting a little low. Is that Robbie over there? That might be Robbie. All right. Another light route. So, I mean, are all these are these attached to shrines? Let's see. I don't know if there's a shrine above each one or what. This whole, like, interconnected world thing is really cool. Gotta close my eyes. I'm not used to it. <laughs> Just shining bright in my face. But there's another fast travel thing. Unlock now. I mean, I've, I've come quite far down here. Yeah. Oh, wow. The light room dispelled the darkness and brightness surrounding area. So, I mean, I hope that... I mean, how bright is the surrounding area? I don't know. Is this Robbie over here? There's Robbie. I found you. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. All right, what did you find? Oh, wow. A statue. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful like uh, an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera w when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of PuraPad's basic features. Hmm, give me that PuraPad for a second, okay? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. Is that like a, po is that like a Pokedex? 
If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this and then tap that and there we go. The camera is now available. Awesome. And so uh, my compendium shows all the creatures that I've encountered. Boom. Now you should be able to use uh, both the camera and your Hyrule compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out, experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I wanna see how it looks. All right, use your camera. Yes indeed, camera work in the depth. So the camera, let's see. I wanna capture a picture of you. You're looking pretty cool, right? Can I duck? I'm ducking now. There you go. Uh, so I could do a self-portrait. That's, okay, what does that look like? That's me. All right. So, let's see. I want to get I want to get you in your good light. How do I zoom in? Uh, this he's not very bright. No, what? No, don't do that. Well, he's like, "What?" Sorry. I was going to try to get a Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You look majestic. Uh, zoom. Perfect. <laughs> You never know. I mean, I could use this for a thumbnail or something, you know? He's looking pretty cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's, oh yeah, we wanted to take a picture of, uh, of these statues. Is there another statue? There's another statue. There's like a lot of statues. They all look kind of the same, though. All right. No, don't whistle. Don't whistle. Stop it. Statue with raised arm. What's the best angle for this? This is probably not a great angle, honestly, but let's capture it. Hey you, how'd that go? If you captured an image of the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I like to see how it looks. All right, let's take a look together. So did you get a good picture? You tell me, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert photographer. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Josh, Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough, uh, we're going to have to investigate. We're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. All right. So camera work in the depths. So that was pretty cool and all. Um... The only thing I, I question now is like, is there anything else that I need to do before I leave? Um, I can probably explore even more. Uh, I imagine what would happen is I would get to an area with like a lot of enemies and it would be difficult. I'm not certain that's what's gonna happen, but it just seems plausible. And you know, my instinct, like when I play games like this, I'm like, I do want to explore, you know what I mean? Like, I do want to, but there's always the struggle of like, hey, I'm also making videos. What can I do over here? Is there like a big guy over here? I kind of want to raid this camp before I do anything else. Oh yeah, this is badly damaged. Let's put like one bomb on it. I have six bombs left. Bomb flower. There you go. Oh shoot. Let's do another one. Boom. All right, that bow is damaged. I have uh, another one. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. How about another one? All right. All right, I know, I know. Oh, crap, this guy is for real. Oh, dang, I killed myself. <laughs> oh, no. All right, continue. From whatever the last save is, probably when I unveiled the uh, the save point, right? Probably. Okay, good. So do I? Does that mean I still have my items left? It does. Great. I can just do that again then. It's not a big deal. All right. Oh, you know what? I hope that doesn't explode. All right, so this one, you know, it would be good to get this off. 
There's two of them in there. There you go. There you go, there you go. Oh, hold on, I need, I need another one. So what's this guy's health like? This guy is coming up on me real quick. All right, great. So now it's just like the little guys left, right? I think it was a wise move to do this. I see you up there. I missed. Ow! Dang! The thing is, like, this this cannot be healed. The damage I've taken cannot be healed, apparently, right? That's what you're telling me? Traveler's Claymore. Can't carry any more melee. I can never carry melee. Let's get rid of the... Oh, it's just a Claymore? I don't know, man. Let's get rid of this... Let's get rid of this one, I guess. I don't know. I didn't even do it. Let's get rid of it. Take the Claymore. That way, if anything's in here... Zonaite... The claymore. Uh, I do have a rock hammer that I need to use. Let me get all the zonaite, and I may, you know, I may not be able to get enough right now, but all right, this is pretty good. What are these? Oh, dude, those look deadly. Uh, they're already they're marked as bad stuff. I don't want to get them. Giant, okay, cool. Um, giant bright bloom seeds. All right. And great. Oh, more stuff over here. This is actually a really good find. I did lose a heart. I don't think I'm going to get that heart back because my heart is broken. But how fast... Uh, like, where where am I exactly? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, where... Is there anything nearby that looks intriguing? Like, maybe I can climb up here and get a good view. The thing is, is like, I just don't want to waste a ton of time. Yeah, it's gonna look. Yeah, I don't know. Those things. See, this is what I mean. They put barriers here. They know. They know. They know that it's gonna get tough for me if I go that way. Um, I know it's gonna get tough for me if I, if I go that way. So I guess what I'll do. Take what? What are we gonna take? Puff stream. Great. I guess I will go back because I do. I do want to. Uh, you know, give. Oh, I just did a capture. Okay. Uh, I do want to give rip. Let's go to the surface, and let's head back to uh, Lookout Landing, the Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. There we go. And then, let's see. I, I So yeah, I wanna report back to Jasha, and maybe I'll get something, I mean, I got the camera, the camera's cool. Enhancing armor. Great fairies can enhance your armor. Great. I gotta figure out. That's another thing I gotta figure out. Like, what kind of, like, what's the ideal armor combos that I'm gonna be looking forward to? Lookout landing, sky view tower. All right. So there we go. Uh, Joshua's over here. Success. Hey, you. Show Joshua that the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well. And it looks darn cool, too. There you go. Hey. This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities, there's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with the stage of my investigation. 
Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Zonite. Only times five? Hmm. I now have over 100. It feels as, uh, as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, uh, they might help you uh, in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. The, that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! Thank you so much for, for going to investigate the depths for me. You're welcome. So the camera work in the depths is done. Complete. Dunzo. Whatever. There's Robbie there. Um, so, let me think about, I guess if I want to, if I want to do a shrine, I kind of want to do a fast travel now. I, I kind of want to go back, I, I don't think I've found anything like, like, it, like it here, but up, up there in the sky, what is that? I don't know what that is. Up there in the sky, you know, they had the, uh, the, like the device dispensers, the forge construct, can I fast travel there? No. But I can go to the shrine, the crystal refinery, the forge construct. I forget which one it is. It might be the crystal refinery that we're looking for. So if I travel to this shrine, is it next to it? I don't. I don't remember. We'll find out really quick though, because I would love to uh, get closer to that process of of having more ener energy for like my vehicles. Because I, I have a feeling that once I really get into this game, I'm going to be making some amazing vehicles. I mean, I've seen some contraptions already on like TikTok and stuff. So this is not where I wanted to go. This is this is the guy who who I, I could trade for, which is fine. But I I okay, steward construct. Yeah, he's the one who built. I need a hundred, uh, to yeah you know to produce energy wells. So get producing, and he's like the production required at least a hundred. So crystallized charges is what we're in the mood for then. And so if I want crystallized charges, is it zonite or am I thinking about something totally different? Let's find out really quick. I need to go over here. And I, I can glide, right? Oh, wow. Where? What? Is it down? Wow. Is it down there? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Oh, shoot. Glide. Uh, let go. I don't think I've been, I've been here. Hold on. Uh, glide now. Thank you. Drop down a little bit more. And we're going to land in here. <laughs> Oh, what? I hit the stone? Oh. Another death. I'm glad I'm not playing permadeath mode. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a mode in this game, but, like, for real. Wow. So, I, I haven't been to that. I mean, that's an interesting little place to go. I mean, I, I feel like I'm getting sidetracked. But, anyway. It's fine. We're fine. Let's go. Let's run. I can run, by the way. Just don't have a lot of stamina to do it. Uh, let's just, uh, run and jump and glide. <laughs> no, and jump. And I think I can just make it, honestly. Not really. Okay, let's just, just glide. No matter what, I'm going to let my glider go at the end. There we go. What is up here? Is this anything to be concerned with up here? Like, what is this place? Is there just, like, a treasure somewhere? No. Is this anything interesting? There's some fish here. This might not be anything, honestly. This just might be... I mean, it's something. It's an island. But I don't know what the, what the goal of this place is. I do see... Oh, there's a... I see it now. I see it now. There's a chest. Uh, just like with Magnesis or whatever. And grab it just like that. Take it out of there. Open it up. Whoa! Large Zonai charge. That's pretty cool. And those, I think, are temporary, right? Like, I, I'm i not wrong on that, am I? Should I get the fish while I'm here? Come here. Come No. No, come on. Gotcha. I got one of them. I'll leave the other one. <laughs> uh, so I think, I mean, I think I just go down here. And then the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glide. And there's that big boy over there. I don't know what to do to fight him, honestly. But over... Shoot. Nope. Wrong way. My bad. 
I misread the map. I do see that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for that ball, am I? I don't think so. Let me look at the map one more time. Forge construct. This is the device dispenser. No, I'm, I'm... I think I... Yeah, okay. Forge construct is where? Is it under me? Dude, it might be under me. And if it's under me, then what does that mean exactly? I don't know. Am I confused? Don't answer that. Uh, how do I get to the forge construct? I feel like... Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me just go down here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here it is. I don't know. I mean, I feel like there should be a fast travel point around here or something. I feel like... I, I don't know what I'm doing. Is it this way? Like, do I go around? I'm going to have to learn. But I can get some more of these seeds. This is the mining cave. This is where I want to go. And I, I just don't know, like, how often am, am I going to have to come back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is cool. The lights that I put here are actually still here. Which is really cool. How come my car didn't save? How come it didn't save my car, but it saved this stuff? You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys. All right, so over here. I mean, yeah, I'm going the right way, right? Maybe, maybe not. More of these. I still have a stone hammer. Zonite. I guess Zonite comes back. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta figure out the real way to get here. Other than just, you know. Other than just coming here, like this. There's, this is a long way. I wish there was a fast travel part. Oh, I, I could go up there. I haven't gone up there in a while. That's gone. Uh, so, I, I will take all of these. There's not that many. Uh, I'll take them all. And it, unfortunately, it's going to be yeah, all that are available. It's like 10. It's a deal. So I, I need like a lot more than 100. But that's a step in the right direction. Um, I think. Uh, do I have any more? Hold on. Let me see what else I got here. Let's go with the uh, claymore. And I'll attach it. Is the rock enough? What is this? Can I attach it to this? What is that? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it grows back. Alright, yours didn't. That, the one he was working on didn't. Uh, let's run over here. I want to do an ascend through here just to see if there's anything up there that I, I would otherwise be missing. It's so cool that it, it saves, you know, what I've been doing here. Wrong. Uh, ascend. Go. And I'm, I'm up here. It doesn't seem like it was worth it to come up here. Can I ascend again? I'm pretty sure I can, actually. I just don't need to. Okay, so, um... I think that we're at a good stopping point. Maybe next episode. I, it, I know it wants me to do the newspaper thing. Maybe next episode I will do some more shrines instead. I feel like I need to do shrines. I, I feel like I'm slacking off. Maybe if I do the shrines, maybe then, you know, I can come back here and more of these will be ready to buy. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like shrines are going to be the next order of business. I don't want to neglect them. You know, I don't want to, like, fall behind and be weak. If I get, like, four shrines done, that's a, that's a heart right there. And I think that'll be useful. If there's anything else, though, let me look at the map really quick. Um, I'm not sure what I would be doing back in this area. Um, other than, you know, just kind of doing an exploration of this area. I'm sure there's a lot to look at. Story-wise, I'm not so sure there's anything else here. But, again, that's an answer not in the definitive. It's, it's an answer that I'm, I'm simply not sure. Um, I don't know if these z device dispensers do anything. This one has... 
I mean, I, I know they do something. This one has the flame fan portable. Uh, are there other device dispensers that I haven't found? Would be another interesting question. And uh, I could go back up here, travel. That way I have a good look at the map along here. And I could just see if there's any other. I mean, they're like big little balls, like little globe things, gumball dispenser looking things. And so let's take a look there really quick. I don't really understand what I... I mean, how come the minecart shrunk so much when I put it on here? That's a weird thing. But yeah, let's take a look. I don't know if I if I missed anything. Also, those things do have a, you know, a range, apparently. So, man, I'm really, I'm really high up. I probably haven't been there. This is a lot higher than I thought. I don't know if I would be able to easily see it from here. I, I just feel like I'm way up high. Let's uh, let's run and jump here, because I want to glide and get over here. Because I don't think I've been on this one. Hold on, what happens if I land in the center there? Is that like a? Is that? I mean, it looks like enticing, right? It looks like, hey, if you no glide, if I land in the center, something could happen, right? Maybe. No, nope, not that. Boom! I land in the center. It's a Korok. Who knew? I found you. That was cool. That was worth it. Bye. See ya. I mean, I see things like that, and I'm like, okay, I just need to land there, right? So, you know, what are on these little islands? Well, we know Koroks are on these islands. We know sometimes treasures are on these islands. I thought that was a dead thing. There's a big rock. Big rocks are on these islands. Uh, is there anything else? Like, are there any chests in the water, like, like before? I'm not seeing them. Uh, an opportunity to view... Oh, these things. What, what are these? Oh, uh, Stamella shrooms. Okay, and then, you know, if we take a look around... Yeah, this is the thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find what I'm... That's a shrine. That's a... Let's just jump. And I went, I went over there last time, right? I don't know what I have been to and what I haven't been to. Like, this looks interesting. I don't know what it is. I, like I said, I don't remember what I've been to or what I haven't been to. What was this? Just a bunch of uh, water. This feels familiar. Anyway, thanks for being here, guys. Come back next time for more. We're going to take on some shrines in Hyrule. I will see you next time for that. Goodbye, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.